All right, this video is gonna show you how to crop your image to the square that you are planning on using. So we previously talked about how you can use different size squares. This is a six inch square, or you can use the eight inch square. Uh, and we first have to figure out what composition is something that we like. So in order to help with that, I like to take the size square that I'm going to be using. I also like to have some extra black paper. This will help me to kind of crop out some parts and kind of figure out what I want to get rid of. And then I also will need a ruler so that I can measure and make sure I'm creating a six inch box and a triangle. The triangle helps make sure that I get right angles so that I'm actually selecting a square ultimately. All right, so to start with, I'm gonna take my six inch square that I think I wanna use and I'm gonna place it where I think I'd like my composition to be. So I know I'm covering up that composition right now. This is why we have the extra black paper. So I can take and set my black paper around to close off all of these extra places. I'm gonna use my ruler for the last one. And then when I move my white paper, I can see what my composition looks like. Now to me, I like this, but I almost wish I had more of the path. That's something I really like about the picture. So I'm gonna kind of move my picture down so I get more of the path in the frame. Now I kind of like that. I'm not sure it's still a square, so you can do a couple things to make sure it's the right size. I can go back with my white picture or paper and I can double check that this is the same size. I can also take my ruler and make sure that I've marked six inches across. All right, so I've figured out where I wanna start with this. Got my ruler here. I'm gonna start right over at the zero. I'm gonna hold my ruler tight. And I'm gonna make a nice clear line over to the six. I know it's a little tricky to see, but I think you can see that right across. All right, now I'm gonna take my triangle. Remember the triangle helps to make sure that you get a straight line, uh, straight right angle. And I'm going to put it right up against that line I just created. Okay, so right now this line is right up against the pencil line I just drew. The corner is where I ended for my six inches and now I'm gonna draw straight down. Okay, my triangle does not have measurements, so now I have to go and measure that line to make sure I have my six inches. So I'm gonna put the six at the corner, gonna mark down, at the zero, and then I can go back and do the same thing with my triangle again. Now I'm gonna line my triangle up on the line I just created. I'm going to draw my line across. You can see it really well on that one. Once again, I'll take my ruler. I will mark from the zero to the six. And then I will do my last line here. Now, if using the ruler and the triangle seems a little bit overwhelming to you, I don't know if you can see that, but I'll fold it in a sec. If it seems overwhelming to you, the other option is you can take your square, place it where you want, and then you can trace it to make sure that you get the size you want. All right, now that I have my box drawn on there in pencil, I'm going to go and fold along those lines so now I will not be distracted with the rest of my picture. So there's the bottom line. Side line. Top line. And then last but not least, we have our other side. So now I have my six inch box ready to go. If you're doing eight inches, it would just be a little bit bigger. And now just like what I just showed you with the paper, our six inch square, we're gonna do the same thing on this picture, okay? In this time around, you can make the lines as dark as you want because we're just using them as references. So I've got one and a half, three, 
four and a half. I would do the same thing down at the bottom. And if you really can't see them because your picture is kind of dark, you can also go over them with Sharpie. Just make sure they are correct so you don't have to reprint your picture and start over again. Okay, so I would do that creating my grid here. So before I'm ready to move on, I would have a grid on here that matches what I have on my square. Thanks for watching.